is Randy Belker with Technophobics Anonymous. Um, today we're going to be dealing a little bit with open source software. Uh, what this means is this is software that people have um, opened up the code so that everybody has access to it. Right? Typically open source software is given away for free. Right? There's a lot of this open source software out on the internet and these programs are many times just as good if not better than commercial programs which you buy. For instance programs that you might buy from um, Microsoft. Um, there's going to be open source software that does exactly the same thing but uh, which is going to be completely free. Right? Now there are sometimes there's a couple benefits to buying a commercial piece of software. Sometimes you will have a little bit better support um, you know, if you have questions, you can call up the support line and talk with them, and they have people that they've hired to sit on the phone or, you know, to, to talk with you and answer your questions. Um, and, and you're really not going to get that much support for an open source. If people are giving away their software for free, um, they're not going to spend a lot of time explaining to you how to use it, um, how to set it up. Uh, a lot of times what they do is they set up a community or a forum where people that use that open source software go and they post questions and then the questions will get answered but then many people can see the answer to that question and, and find out how to how to get through whatever that problem is. Um, now uh, are these open source software uh, programs as good as the commercial ones? Many times they are, many times they're actually even better. Um, <clears throat> why would people give away their software for free? The browsers that we were talking about, um, all three of those browsers, Micro Internet Explorer, um, Mozilla Firefox, and Google Chrome, all of them are given away for free. They're free programs. Uh, but if you look at the programs, they're a little bit different. Only two of them are open source. In other words, um, they give away the coding behind the program to show you how the program works. All right? um, Firefox is open source. They give away the coding so you can see exactly how the program works so there's no surprises. There's no way for there to be a back door built into that software to allow viruses in. Um, and it's also exactly the same with Google Chrome. They give away their coding so that everybody can see what the code is. And if you're a developer and understand how to write computer programs, you can just download the source code for either of those programs and look at them. It's not the same with Internet Explorer. They hold on to their code um, as uh, proprietary. Uh, and so um, many people on the internet really are attracted to open source software. Now, why would people give away their software for free? Um, many of them just want to be uh, established as experts or they want their software to be the one that uh, becomes very common and popular. Uh, a lot of times they will make money through advertising or in, in different ways. They have different models of monetizing their, their software. But it is good software and it's given away for free. And so we will spend a lot of time uh, in uh, the future modules of Technophobics Anonymous going through uh, the best open source software that you can get for free, download for free, how to use it, how to set it up, uh, how, to, how to really use it to its maximum advantage. If you have uh, a tutorial uh, like we'll have, like we'll have uh, that's, that takes over um, uh, some of the problems that open source has. Sometimes it's difficult to get used to or to, to get started. Uh, a tutorial will get you up to, up to speed and running very quickly. So um, if you hang in there with some of the uh, further modules that are coming, uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of open source software that's being uh, explained and taught. So that's, that's something to be looking forward to. Um, all right, next we're going to start talking a little bit about email and uh, get you set up with an email account.